Hi, this is Nick. In this video, I will share how to create a dynamic data filter to switch between daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly views. Step one, here is what the raw data looks like. We have the date and volume column. And then step two, let's create a new table. Go to table view on Power BI Desktop, then table tools, then new table, then put in all the formulas here, which will create a new table like this. The only thing that needs to be adjusted is the date column from your own data. What it does is that it creates a new table with a date column that contains all unique dates, ranging from the earliest to the latest, and each date only appears one time. And on this new date table we just created, we can change the format of this date column a little bit. Click on this date column, then under column tools, change the data type to date only, and then go to model view, select the date column from your table, and drag and drop it onto the date column in the date table we just created. And make sure the cross filter direction is set to be both. Now we have connected the two tables using the date column. Step three, now we need to create another table called dynamic date selections. There are a lot of formulas for this table. If you prefer, I've also attached the entire dashboard in the comment section for this video. Please feel free to check that out and copy and paste it to your own dashboard, please. Notice we used the date table that we created from step two. That means you don't need to change anything here if you also follow the same naming convention. So please take your time to create this new table. Step four, under this new table we just created for dynamic date selections, we also need to create a new column called adjusted visual date using all the formulas here. This is to set up the format for the dates that we actually want to see on the actual line charts or bar charts. Again, you don't need to change anything here. And you can also copy from the attached dashboard in the comment section of this video and paste it onto your own dashboard. Now go to model view, select the date column from the dynamic date selections table, drag and drop it onto the date column in the date table. Also make sure the cross filter direction is set to be both. Now we have connected all the three tables with the date column. And then under build visual, click on the three dots to get more visuals. Search for chiclets and get a chiclet slicer. And then add it onto Power BI and click on this visual we just downloaded and installed under the dynamic date selection table, put type under category, and then put order under values. It will be automatically changed to sum of orders. Click on the three dots on this filter, then sort axis, and let it sort by the sum of orders and sort ascending. You can also go to format your visual. Under general, you can change the number of columns based on your preference. And then turn off multiple selection because we only want to select one type at a time. And then turn on forced selection. That means users have to select one type. Finally, let's create a bar chart. Put the adjusted visual date column on the X axis. And then put your measure for total volume on their column Y axis. And scroll down a little bit. Put the date column from the date table on their tooltips. It will automatically change to the earliest date. And then click on the three dots. Sort axis and then sort it by earliest date. And then sort ascending. Now you can play around with this dynamic date filter. 
enjoy Power BI, have fun.